the underlying growth hormone. What's going on right now? Okay, welcome back to Rick's Radio Conversions. Today we have a blah punk out of a 72 Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, we haven't seen one of these before. Uh, this was uh, an AM FM shortwave radio radio uh, made in Germany, um, export to the United States. So I'm just going to go. Check the sweep. That's pretty good. We're about eighty ninety to one oh seven seven. That's pretty good. So this radio is built with a uh, stereo lock light and uh, it also had a little hole here in the middle for another LED that wasn't installed and we put the status LED in there thought that was kind of cool so that's yellow for FM and now we're gonna do the uh, go up here a little bit and we'll test the uh, the scan feature 12 to 2 as you can see, the LED is flashing at you there. And we'll let it scan a couple more stations. So if that's the uh, station you like, you take your tuner, 12 to 2. Now you can see it's flashing steadily, and now it's locked. That might have been where we were at when we scanned it there. So that's the FM. Off and on again. Now we're in aux mode. We're green here, playing through the CD player in the back. And then we'll go off and on again. Red, and that's our... AM. Got a couple stations there on the AM. We'll go off and on again. Back to the FM. And we'll do some of the uh, Bluetooth functions here. So we're already paired and if you wanted to fast forward you want to rewind and we'll pause it and as you can see, we're getting the, uh, the flashing light there. It'll do about 10 seconds, and then it'll go back to whatever the last known radio station was, which in this case was FM. So 
So other things that we can do with this, it does the voice recognition. Hey Siri, what is the weather tonight? It's currently clear and 24 degrees in Virginia Beach. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 24 degrees. So that's some of the other functions that we'll do for you. It'll give you the uh, drive-by drive directions if you like, or tell you the weather, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, this is a very tiny, tiny radio. We'll see if we can't pan around a little bit here. Very, very small. Maybe it's two inches wide, six inches deep. And it's, it's a unibody, uh, what I kind of call a unibody radio where the everything is done to the circuit board on the bottom everything is soldered to it with solder traces so it was extremely difficult to remove some pieces to get the boards in both of the boards the bluetooth and the the aurora board uh some other things uh so there were three three push buttons to go here the customer has those uh for for the citizen sideband uh short with the shortwave am and then the fm uh, the customer has those along with these two knobs here. These are not stock. Um, unfortunately, these don't do anything. Um, it's all they're all soft push buttons. They're, they're not hard push buttons. So we really couldn't get those to do anything to change maybe the AM, FM, aux input. Uh, the other kind of strange thing uh, we thought with this radio was there's no tone control as well. Um, kind of different and. Uh, I have another blah punk that I have for my own, and it doesn't have one either. So I just thought that was kind of different for uh, German radios, but uh, but this came out very well. Very pleased with the uh, the tuner. Very very pleased with the sound quality as well. I also kind of thought the uh, putting the status LED in there is really, really cool. Stereo lock light as well is extremely neat with this radio. Uh, other than that, that's it. Uh, this for, is for a local restoration shop uh, here in the area. They do a lot of old cars. They have a TV show. Um, so we're happy to give this back to them and they can get it back to their customer. And if you would like your radio converted like this, have Rick's Radio Conversions do it. Our phone number is 757-716-9305 or ricksradioconversions.com. You can also find us on Facebook. That's it for now. Thank you very much. Bye.